Today, we have one of my favorite stories from when I was little. I can remember when I was four years old, my sisters were at school, and I would go sit by the bookshelf. And this is the book, one of the books I used to read over and over again. I don't even remember learning to read. I think I read some of my books so many times, that's how I learned to read. But here it is, it's called The Tawny Scrawny Lion. Tawny is his color here. And scrawny means real skinny, skinny. So he's a skinny, tan-colored lion, okay? He doesn't look very healthy, does he? No. No, when you don't get enough food to eat, your hair doesn't get pretty. Your hair is kind of nasty looking. Well, he looks kind of nasty. But and this this was one of my favorites. Okay, the tawny, scrawny lion. Once there was a tawny, scrawny, hungry lion who could never get enough to eat. He chased monkeys on Monday, kangaroos on, on Tuesday, Zebras on Wednesday, bears on Thursday, camels on Friday, and elephants on Saturday. And since everything, and since he caught everything, he ran after it. That lion should have been fat as butter, but he wasn't at all. The more he ate, the scrawnier and hungrier he grew. The other animals didn't feel safe one bit at all. They stood at a distance and tried to talk things over with the tawny scrawny lion. It's all your fault for running away, he grumbled, if I didn't have to run, run, run. For every single bite I get, I'd be fat as butter and sleek as satin. Then I wouldn't have to eat so much, and you'd last longer. That's kind of silly. Just then, a fat little rabbit came hopping through the forest, picking berries. All the big animals looked at him and grinned slyly. Rabbit, they said. Oh, you lucky rabbit. We appoint you to talk things over with him. What'll, what'll he do if he gets a rabbit? Rabbit's so really little. That made the little rabbit feel very proud. What shall I talk about? He asked eagerly. Oh, any old thing, said the big animals. The important thing is that you get right up close. So the fat little rabbit hopped right up to the big hungry lion. And he counted his ribs. His ribs here. Oh, oh my goodness. He said, you look much too scrawny to talk things over, he said. So how about supper at my house? Oh. What's for supper? Asked the lion. The little rabbit said, carrot stew. That sounded awful to the lion. But the little rabbit said, oh, yes, sir, my fat five my five fat sisters and my four fat brothers are making a delicious big carrot soup right now. What are we waiting for? cried the lion, and he went hopping away with the little rabbit, thinking of ten fat rabbits and looking just as jolly as you please. Well, grinned all the big animals, that should take care of the tawny, scrawny lion for today. Before long, the lion began to wonder if they would ever get to the rabbit's house. First, the little fat rabbit kept stopping to pick berries and mushrooms and all sorts of good-smelling herbs. And when his basket was full, what did he do but flop down on the riverbank? Wait a bit, he said. I want to catch a few fish for the stew. That sounded almost too much for the hungry lion. For a moment, he thought he would have to eat the little rabbit right then and there. But he kept saying, five fat sisters and four fat brothers over and over and over to himself. And at last, the two were on their way again. 
Here we are, said the little rabbit, hopping around a turn with the lion close behind. Sure enough, there was the rabbit's house with a big pot of carrot stew bubbling over an open fire. And sure enough, there were nine more fat and merry little rabbits hopping around it. When they saw the fish, they popped them into the stew along with the mushrooms and the herbs. The stew began to smell very good indeed. Mm. And when they saw the tawny scrawny lion, they gave a big gave him a big bowl of hot stew. And then they hopped about so busily that really it would have been quite a job for that tired, hungry lion to catch even one of them. So he gobbled his stew, but the rabbits filled his bowl again. When he had eaten all he could hold, they heaped his bowl full of berries. Mm, yummy! And when the berries were gone, the tawny, scrawny lion wasn't scrawny anymore. Like him with a fat, plump lion. He felt so good and fat and comfortable that he could not even move. Here's a fine thing, he said to himself. All these fat little rabbits and I haven't room inside of me for even one of them. He looked at all those fine fat little rabbits and wished he'd get hungry again. Mind if I stay a while? He asked Oh, we wouldn't even hear of you going, said the rabbits. Then they plopped themselves down in the lion's lap and began to sing songs. And somehow, even it was when it was time to say goodnight, the lion wasn't one bit hungry. Home he went through the soft moonlight, singing softly to himself. He curled up in his bed, patted his sleek, fat tummy, and smiled up in the morning. It was Monday. Time to go chase monkeys, said the lion. But he wasn't hungry one bit for monkeys. What he wanted was some more of that tasty carrot stew. So off he went to visit the rabbits. On Tuesday, he didn't want kangaroos. And on Wednesday, he didn't want zebras. He wasn't hungry for bears on Thursday, or camels on Friday, or elephants on Saturday. All the big animals were so surprised and happy, they dressed in their best and went to see the fat little rabbit. Rabbit, they said. Oh, you wonderful rabbit. What in the world did you talk to the tawny, scrawny, hungry, terrible lion about? The fat little rabbit jumped up in the air and said, Oh my goodness, we had such a good time with that nice jolly lion that I guess we forgot to talk about anything at all. And before the big animals could say one word, the tawny, the tawny lion came skipping up the path. He had a basket of berries for the fat rabbit sisters and a string of fish for the fat rabbit brothers and a big bunch of daisies for the fat rabbit himself. I came for supper, he said, shaking paws all around. Then he sat down on the soft grass, the fat as butter, sleek as satin, and jolly as all get up, all ready for another good, big supper of carrot stew. Ooh, that's one smart little rabbit, isn't he? What did he do? What did he do? He shared what he had and made friends, right? Mm -hmm. Fun story. Hope you enjoyed it.